And kicking off the show, popular local fighter Jack Cullen is looking to bounce back in style after failing to capture the European super middleweight crown last time out. Win, lose or draw, excitement guaranteed with little levers, meat cleaver, Jack Cullen. Coming off of that defeat to a late replacement in Kevin Lele Sajo, stylistically chalk and cheese from the originally slated Emre Kukor in hopes he can get that rematch for the European title and Vladimir Boloyski, a well-seasoned operator, should ask a few questions of him here. Yeah, never really much of a feeling out process when uh, it comes to a Jack Cullen fight. Likes to get stuck in. He's a very good fighter when he gets behind the jab. He's a very good fighter inside as well for someone as tall as Jack Cullen is. He really does throw a lovely uppercut, tries to put his opponents onto that shot. He can punch, I think he punches harder than his record suggests. But Boloyski, he can punch as well as the eight knockouts on the record, so it's just a case of him trying to get close, trying to get tight to Jack Cullen to let that right hand of his go. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a blessing and a curse, isn't it, for Jack Cullen, because he gets opportunities because he is an exciting fighter, but when you look at the frame on the guy, he can make fights so much easier, just get behind that jab, changes the level so well, it's a nice little check left hook from Belusky there. physical he was against David Brosby they fought in, in Glasgow before the pandemic and uh, he put a dent in the Scotsman early Brophy clawed it back over I think it was a six rounder but there was nothing in it at the final bell David Brophy is a, a completely different fighter to Jack Cullen but he's a good fighter as well and turning through that long right hand as well Brophy just trying to inch that front foot in but he's walking onto that stiff ramrod left hand as soon as he does so just not getting off the line on the way in in Slovakia Trying the right thing, Boluski there. He's got to work the body of Jack Cullen, really tall frame, so he's trying to target that right hand to the, the midriff of, of Cullen. I'd, nice like to, I'd like to see Boluski move his head a little bit more. He's yeah. just standing straight in front of him there. Um, you know, and that's why those jabs, those double jabs that Cullen's doing, you know. So a bit more head movement would be good. Yeah, and you find the, the openings that way as well, don't you? If he slips on the outside, he can find that right hand. So, yeah, totally see? agree with you there. He's caught him with a long left hook there, Cullen. And Wilski just tries to tie him up. Steve Gray just getting in between them. That's a short right uppercut in there from Belusky. Of the way that Jack Cullen commits to every shot. You know, there's never oh, a good right hand over the top from Belusky there. I think it may have just missed. It's just the other side of our commentary desk. Yeah, really sunk it in, didn't he? That left under the elbow from Belusky. Nice uppercut. Yeah. For a Mitchell style, even when he is hurt, he's always getting captured counter spies back as he did there. We, we felt we may see more of an exercise in, in distance control from Jack Cullen tonight as he just sticks a, a stiff jab. As Belowski was trying to turn through a hook there, perfect timing on it, and he has maintained that distance better than in previous contests. It's just a, the first shades of a, of a mark two Jack Cullen as he thumps the left hand into the body, changes the levels, just starting to. Push Boloyski back now, have more success, sinks that left hand in and the elbow was in place from Boloyski, but he felt it. And Cullen just turning up the heat here with a couple of minutes to go in the third. Just the centre, he's starting to get control of this contest as we creep towards the end of round number three. Boloyski just fires in with a, a two-punch combination. Whips that right hand round the side again. Yeah, just not enough from Belusky at the minute. He's just trying to fire in single shots at the minute. I think he's got to try and up the work rate at the minute. It's quite comfortable for Jack Cullen working nicely behind the jab, starting to find the range with the right hand. Look, he's enjoying himself, moving his head. Got into a nice rhythm in this round. Yeah, it was good. Good, good round that for, for Jack Cullen. I thought he was positive behind the jab, very accurate with the shot. Found the right hand a couple of times, so he's starting to find the range with that shot. But like Ebony said there, enjoying himself. Ooh, it's a lovely uppercut to the left hook from 
Beloisky there, the pound and pound straight back at him, and that is the fighting instinct we were talking about. You can just see him wanting to quicken the feet up, wanting to get up close and trade, but he is just taming his own instinct and keeping this long. I think that's what Belusi's got to do, though. He's got to try and trade with Jack Cullen and hope he lands one of those big left hooks. I mean, look, at range, he's just getting out of box, so I think he's probably best off trying to mix fire with fire, target that body and work upstairs, try and find that left hook. I think he's got to be a little bit careful with um, that jab and just bring it back low to get countered with that right hand because I feel like that's what Belusky's waiting for. You know, so he's, he's getting loose with the jab, but he's got to bring it back to his face. Uh, because, yeah, I, I can just see that Belushi's looking for it, you know, just for those big, strong counters. Like that, oh, like that. Solid nice. right hand off the jab from Belushi. Cullen took it really well, but he really turned the knuckle over on that. You can really feel the, the power from Belushi's ringside. He just definitely packs a punch. Lovely shot, beautiful one two straight down the middle. We took it well, Jack Cullen. Yeah, it's been a slightly more conservative version of Jack Cullen than the out and out gunslinger that we have known in, in days gone by. And Beloisky, as a result, is just perhaps growing in confidence. Can Cullen just stamp out any momentum that the Slovakian fighter believes he's gathering? That was a, a decent combinations to set him back onto his heels. Yeah, there was a good body shot in there from Jack Cullen as well. Nice short right hand to the body and a nice right hand over the top. Now Michael Jennings said don't throw the right hand unless it's off a jab, but the lead right that time and Beloisky just flat on his heels, just getting a little bit pinned in the corner here. Oh, and catches coming oh, again to the left hook. When he throws that left hook, his right hand's dropping a little. And we can hear the few hundred that have made the journey from Little Lever in full voices, the Manchester Arena starts to fill up. His colour just rips shots into the body, just stays a little too long in front of his man and takes return fire. He can stop from Belushi on the back foot, Royal Land in two hooks. Good work again from Jack Cullen, you've got to hit that right hand up when he throws the left hook. And this is the stuff that we love to see from Jack Cullen. Yeah, good action in that round from both men. Belushi listening to, to the instructions from Kieran Farrell in the, the last minute break and said, look, get on the front foot, and he did just that. Landing some big shots, but back comes Cullen, as he always does. Landing two big shots. Back that right hand, and the hook is worried he's dropping when he's throwing the hook, but good stuff. Just catches Belushi with the right hand on the turn there. And his feet have slowed noticeably here and there's less and less coming back and another left hook just stiffen the legs for a moment Polojski pinned into the corner and there's a fair amount of time on the clock here as Cullen just sends a breakthrough solid jab a fearless fighter Polojski but he's getting hit with some heavy leather yeah very good round yeah, just starting to go through the gears here the legs half buckle of Polojski well Cullen has maybe not spotted it because he stepped off but the the legs buckling was there for us to see Ooh, right above our commentary position and he's hung on there for Lewiski, 40 yeah, seconds hurt. on the clock, yeah, he's, he's hurt. He's hurt. His legs are still, still buckled. Steve Gray is having a look at him now. He's trying to move away. Which is a left hook on the glove again, but nice. force it would have got through. Starting to rip away Jack Cullen. Belowski trying to fire back, there's nothing left in his shots now at all. His legs are gone, legs are gone. That's what he needs, that's what Cullen needs to do. Go to the body, then up back to the head. Oh, buckled him back there with a the right hand. And he's going to have done well to see out this round. Can Cullen put a punctuation on the sixth? There is a bounce oh, nice in his step with Belowski, but he is exhausted, he really is. I think he's had the fight beaten out of him yeah, by an intelligent see. Jack Cullen. Open. How many can he take of these? Another left hook. He just lifted up out of range. Backs up again to the ropes. Left hook to the body under the elbow that time as well. He's enjoying this Jack Cullen looking really, really spiteful. Really biting down in the gum shield. Trying to look that one shot that's going to finish the show. Good right, work. Switch there to the. He wants to finish it. It looks like, you know, Cullen's gone for the finish here. He's really putting everything into it. Oh, nice. Beautiful 
combination. Well, you can't, you can't say Jack Cullen hasn't tried. I mean, he's, he's hitting with just about everything. Well, he's got 45 seconds to survive. Oh. Oh. Big one. Left hook off the back of it, the legs of Belojski have really slowed after that. As he lays it in, 30 seconds in the eighth round, just glancing right out. Belojski trying to find the space that he so desperately needs. Stiff jab from Cullen. Steve Gray having a look at the man in the corner now. Wilty, he's had the fight beaten out of him. Can Cullen land something definitive here? Right hand to the body, left hook upstairs. Sense he's so close to the finish, but Belojski determined to hang on. Cullen knows he's done enough. He dances, stiff jab again. Oh, he's nice. to but the bell comes just at the right time. The perfect comeback opponent for Jack Cullen. Very, very good eight rounds. Credit to Vladimir Belojski. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of action here in Manchester, we go to referee Steve Gray's scorecard. It reads 80 to 72 for your winner, Little Leavers Meet Cleaver, Jack Cullen.